before we can use the layout wizard, we have to create a new application. After the application is created, we get an overview of the available wizards. We choose the layout wizard. On the left side we see the configuration steps. In the middle we see the layouts. There are currently five layouts to choose from. In this example we choose the block layout. The second step explains the most important features of the chosen layout, indicates for which use cases it is recommended and for which not and shows an exemplary screenshot. In the next step, the selected layout can be configured. On the right side, a preview of the current configuration is displayed. For the block layout, the user can choose between four different background designs. In addition, the number of rows and the number of blocks for each row can be defined. For the content of the individual blocks, the user can choose between chart, image, list, table and text. After the configuration we can select the screen where the layout will be inserted. When no screen is selected, a new screen will be created. This step will be skipped if there are no screens yet. After we go through all the steps, we get a list of the configuration objects. As a result of the layout wizard, we get a pre-configured layout which can be further customized. Finally, we run the app in our browser and test the functionality.